So I've been stuck in China for about two years now. In the wake of recent events, I miss my home more than ever. But just because I'm on the other side of the planet doesn't mean I can't rep my city every goddamn day. I mean, for God's sakes, I got three-year-old Chinese kids already learning Boston basics. We love, we love Kevin Garnett. I took a job at this coffee shop, even though they paid me shit and everybody hated our donuts, just because it had an amazing name. And this thing right here, this Larry Legend jersey, you think I ever take this thing off? Hell no! I flaunt this wherever I go. My name is Donald Mahoney, and I endorse Lisa Baby, Thank Vaginas, and Fake Anuses. Even though I'm in China, I still get my coffee from Dunkies every day, and make sure that their promotional material is always up to par. No, no, this is all wrong. Sorry. You don't put a picture of LeBron James up in a Dunkin' Donuts. That's like putting a picture of Elton John up in a Chick-fil-A. And even though there's a 12 hour time difference, I never miss a Celtics playoff game. Even if that means streaming it off the shitty Wi-Fi at Starbucks. Can you pump the Wi-Fi up? Woo! How are we doing tonight, Starbucks? Most recently, the Celtics pretty much made me their head scout for the Asia Pacific region. Baby. I saw DJ White out here just straight up crushing it for the Shanghai Sharks. Yo, DJ! The NBA just called! I told the C's about it, and next thing you know, he's on the roster. DJ White, the former Indiana Hoosier, making his debut. Next Shalik Randall also has me to thank for getting them out of China and onto the best basketball franchise on the planet. But it's not just me who loves Boston. It's also one billion plus Chinese people. I mean, Jesus Christ, they threw the Celtics logo on that beer can. But one of these days, I'm going to get that plane ticket home. And you'll find me and Doug Rivers on Marathon Monday, cheering people on to the finish line, getting absolutely hammered as usual.